Jane. Jane. as soon as I entered the house, I singled you out as the companion of my future life. You what? I have to inform you that the eldest Miss Bennet has captured my special attention. <coughs> and now, nothing remains but for me to assure you in the most animated language of the violence of my affection. Mr. Collins, you are too hasty, sir. You forget that I have given no answer. I must add that Lady Catherine will thoroughly approve when I speak to her of your modesty, economy, and other amiable qualities. Sir, I am honoured by your proposal, but I regret that I must decline it. Besides, you should take into account that despite manifold attractions, it's by no means by certain no that no another offer of marriage may ever be made to you. Miss Elizabeth. I have fought against my better judgment, my family's expectation, the inferiority of your birth, my rank and circumstance, all these things, and I'm willing to put them aside and ask you to end my agony. I don't understand. I love you. Most ardently. Please do me the honor of accepting my hand. Can you dance, Mr. Darcy? Not if I can help it. But her sister Elizabeth is very agreeable. Perfectly tolerable, I dare say. Not handsome enough to tempt me. <laughs> As it is, I wouldn't dance with him for all of Derbyshire, let alone the miserable half. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Darcy, I'd more easily forgive his vanity had he not wounded mine. <laughs> but no matter, I doubt we shall ever speak again. Did I just agree to dance with Mr. Darcy? I dare say you'll find him very amiable, is he? It would be most inconvenient since I just want to loathe him for all eternity. <laughs> <laughs> so he separated them? Well, I believe so. I know nothing else. Finish him! Sir, I. I appreciate the struggle you have been through, and I am very sorry to have caused you pain. Believe me, it was unconsciously done. Is this your reply? Yes, sir. Are you... Are you laughing at me? No. Are you rejecting me? I'm sure that the feelings which, as you've told me, have hindered your regard will help you in overcoming it. And what about Mr. Wickham? Mr. Wickham? What excuse can you give you? your behaviour towards him? You take an eager interest in that gentleman's concerns. He told concerns. me of his misfortunes. Oh, yes, his misfortunes have been very great indeed. Could you expect me to rejoice in the inferiority of your circumstances? And those are the words of a gentleman. From the first moment I met you, your arrogance and conceit, your selfish disdain for the feelings of others made me realise that you were the last man in the world I could ever be prevailed upon to marry. 